everybody. Today we are talking about adjectives describing people and personal qualities. An adjective uh, describes or modifies nouns and pronouns in a sentence. It normally indicates quality, size, shape, duration, feelings, contents, and more about uh, noun or pronoun. Adjectives usually provide relevant information about the nouns, pronouns. They modify, describe by answering the questions what kind, how many, which one, how much. Uh, adjectives enrich your writing by adding precision and originality to it. For example, the team has a dangerous batsman. What kind? I have 10 candies in my pocket. How many? And I love the red car. Which one? Or I earn more money than he does. How much? However, there are also many adjectives which don't fit into these questions. Adjectives are the most used parts of speech in sentences. There are several types of adjectives according to their uses. And the first one is descriptive adjectives, quantitative adjectives, proper adjectives, dem demonstrative adjectives, possessive adjectives, interrogative adjectives, indefinite adjectives, articles, and the last one is compound adjectives. Descriptive adjectives is a word which describes nouns and pronouns. Most of adjectives belong in this type. These adjectives provide information and attribute to the nouns, pronouns they modify or describe. Descriptive adjectives are also called qualitative adjectives. Poles are also included in this type of adjectives when they modify a noun. For example, I have a fast car. The word fast is describing an attribute of the car or I am hungry. The word hungry is providing information about the subject. <clears throat> I saw a flying eagle. Quantitative adjective. Quantitative adjective provides information about quantity of the nouns or pronouns. This type belongs to the questions category of how much and how many. Example, I have 20 bucks in my wallet. How much? Or they have three children. How many? You should have complete the whole task. How much? Proper adjectives are the adjectives form of proper nouns. When proper nouns modify or describe other nouns, pronouns, they become proper adjectives. Proper means specific rather than formal or polite. Proper adjectives allows us to summarize a concept in just one word. For example, Instead of writing saying a food cooked in Chinese for type, you can write say Chinese food. Proper adjectives are usually capitalized as proper nouns are. For example, American cars are very strong or Chinese people are hard workers or, or I love KFC burgers. Demonstrative adjectives. A demonstrative adjective directly refers to something or someone. Demonstrative adjectives include the word this, that, these, or those. Demonstrative pronoun works alone and doesn't precede a noun, but demonstrative adjective always comes before the word it modifies. For example, that building is so gorgeously decorated. That refers to a singular noun far from the speaker. This car is mine. This refers to a singular noun close to the speaker. These cats are cute. This refers to a plural noun close to the speaker. Those flowers are heavenly. Those refers to a pl plural noun far from the speaker. Possessive adjectives. A possessive adjective indicates possession or ownership. It suggests the belongingness of something to someone or something. Some of the most used possessive adjectives are my, his, her, our, their, or your. All these adjectives always come before a noun. Unlike possessive pronoun, these words demand a noun after them. For example, my car is parked outside, his cat is very cute, or our job is almost done. Interrogative adjectives. In interrogative adjectives asks a question. An interrogative adjective must be followed by a noun or pronoun. 
The interrogative adjectives are which, what, whose. These words will not be considered as adjectives if a noun doesn't follow right after them. Whose also belongs to the possessive adjective type. For example, which phone do you use or what game do you want to play? Whose car is this? Uh, and now I want to speak about indefinite adjectives and an indefinite adjective describes or modifies a noun unspecifically. They provide indefinite and specific information about the noun. The common indefinite adjectives are few, many, much, most, all, any, and etc. For example, I gave some candy to her or I want a few moments alone or several writers wrote about the recent incidents. Articles also modify the nouns. So, articles are also adjectives. Article determines the specification of nouns. A and N are used to refer to an unspecific noun and the U and Z is also used to refer a specific noun too. For example, a cat is always afraid of water. Here, the noun cat refers to any ca cat not specific, or the cat is afraid of me. This cat is a specific cat. An electronic product should always be handled with care. Compound adjectives. When compound nouns combined words modify other nouns, they become a compound adjective. This type of adjectives usually combines more than one word in a single lexical unit or modifies a noun. They are often separated by hyphen or joined together by quotation mark. For example, I have a broken down sofa or I saw a six foot long snake. He gave me and I'm gonna kill you now, look. And now the degree of adjectives. There are three degrees of adjectives. They are positive, comparative, and superlative. The, these degrees are applicable only for descriptive adjectives. Examples, positive degree, he's a good boy. Comparative degree, he's better than the other boy. Or superlative degree, he's the best boy. Compared to this first sentence, words to describe personality, there are many different kinds of adjectives. But the one that we are going to focus on are called attributive adjectives. Attributive, attributive adjectives are words that will expand and specific traits, qualities, and features. Attributive adjectives modify more than just people, including size, shape, age, color, origin, material, and qualifier adjectives. This means that they are not limited to describing just personality, but also things like fabric, wickles, towels, more basically any noun. When using adjectives to describe a person, person's personality, you can use uh, one person's personality, you can use one of two types of words. For example, positive or negative. When you use positive adjective, you are creating positive image of the character. Negative adjectives, on the other hand, spotlight the negative characters of a person. And these words are powerful in creating reader opinions, so choose the words wisely to communicate clearly. How to use personality adjectives. If you want to add adjectives to your writing uh, to describe somebody's personality, there are a few things to consider. Uh, are you trying to create a positive or negative image of the person you are writing about? What are some of things that stand out about this person? What pronouns are you trying to modify? Do we know this person or are we speculating? Let's practice. For example, pretend you are being asked me to write a biography on the Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Since you have never met her, you can speak directly to her personality, but you can research her and learn about her. She went to uh, Lang College, has been advocate for women's rights since 1971, and he's and has recently been diagnosed with cancer. 
Even though we most likely don't personally know her, we can still describe her. For example, she seems intelligent, driving, or passionate. She is an advocate and unapologetic about the things she is passionate about. See how picking out specific words creates an image of who is this woman is without ever meeting her. The next time you are trying to define somebody's personality, think about how your use of positive or negative adjectives paints a picture of somebody's personality. Uh, physical appearance. Physical appearance is self-explanatory. It includes aspects of individual that others can see, hear and feel such as hair, height and shape. Each aspect has its own set of suitable descriptive words. This section explores some of those words. The folks for this section will be words that describe the physical appearance of people. Uh, for example, hair. The texture and color of an individual's hair is determined to a great extent by his or her ethnicity. Nowadays, however, a lot of methods are used to change hair color and texture. The words below describe the physical appearance of human hair. Or stride, consisting of elongated st uh, strands with no curves. Naturally, stride hair is associated with persons who are Caucasian, Asian, or Indian. Personal with stride hair achieve curly hair by using different styling methods or tools. Uh, example, she had long flowing stride hair that danced beautifully on windy days or curly consisting of several curves some indians and caucasians may have curly hair but this type of hair is most popular with individuals of uh, african descent curly hair can be straightened temporarily to achieve different look example his curly hair fell messily on his forehead, creating an almost artistic uh, noodle-like arrangement against his skin. Or black, having a completely dark hair, often described as the absence of light or the opposite of white. This higher color is the most popular natural human hair color. Example, her black hair was swept into elaborate Ups weave that wowed everyone at the pageant. Blonde, a yellowish hair color. This hair color comes in a variety of yellow or gold shades, which range from rich or heavy to light. This word is often used to describe a woman who has hair or of this color. Man's hair can also be described as blonde. Example. She bowed her head and started to pray. All they could see she was a mop of light blonde hair, nearly arranged on her head and effectively masking her face. Hate. Some hate adjectives such as monumental or unsuitable for, for description of people. Uh, however, below are some hate adjectives that are appropriate for description of people towering much taller than the norm someone who is described as towering tends to be so tall or that he or she has to look down at others example his towering physique made him attractive to recruiters for basketball teams or tapering in referring to hate this word means very tall and thin it's similar to towering, but it's not as popular in use. Be careful in using it, however, as it does have another meaning. In describing other things, it carries the meaning, diminishing or lessening. Okay, next uh, word is lanky. Very tall and slim in an appealing or clumsy way. This word is often used to describe someone in a negative way. Example, I carefully glanced at the reflection in the store window and realized that my stalker was a lanky. 
squat, short and six hat. This word is used to describe someone who is short. Example, she, she looked down at him from the balcony and was bemused at how unusually squat he appeared from that angel. Shapes. Another area in which human beings differ is the shape of their bodies. Shape adjectives help to create clear and visual images of the physical appearance of people. Some shape adjectives are more suitable to a particular gender as, uh, as the examples below will illustrate. For example, cur curvicules. Uh, possessing attractive curves, this word is suitable for describing females who have attractive physicus. Examples, uh, her curvicus physicu awaited everyone as she strut strutted on the catwalk. Plump, round in shape or fat. Example, the terminally ill patient was accompanied to her bed by a plump, kind nurse who made her feel relaxed and safe. Characteristics and traits a part of what makes each individual unique is his or her characteristics and traits. People's characteristics or traits become clear when they speak, act, or interact with others. The things that are habitually said and done help to determine someone's characteristics or trait. These attributes are most adequately described by using adjectives such as the ones in this section. Clever. Very smart. Some other words for clever are shrewd or witty. Example, there was no need to, uh, there was no need to worry as the experienced and clever technician was able to figure out the problem almost immediately. Mysterious, difficult to understand, seemingly secretive. Example, the most intriguing part of the novel was the mysterious stranger who appeared sound suddenly in the town. And the next word is creative. Talented when it comes to finding new solutions, fixing things, or coming up with new ideas. Examples The ideal candidate for the position is a creative multitasker or who has excellent people skill. And next word is flexible, open to and accepting of change, easily adaptable to new situations or environments. Example the new principle was flexible enough to allow for some very novel changes in the way the school is run, such as the introduction of student-led days where the students and teachers switch roles temporarily. Okay, conclusion. Adding adjectives to describe personality is a guaranteed way to increase the quality of your writing. Here are a few things to remember as you dig into writing with adjectives describing personality. Adjectives modify nouns and pronouns, and while there are many different kinds of adjectives, personalities fall into the attributive category. Positive adjectives are words that paint the person character in a positive light. These words commonly convey the best qualities that a person has and make them more likable. And negative adjectives, on the other hand, are words that create negative image of a person or character. These words generally focus on the parts of a personality that people are not proud of. Sometimes an adjective can be negative in some situations and positive in others. When writing, it's important and so consider the situation when adding adjectives. When you add adjectives into your writing, consider if you are trying to create a positive or negative opinion of somebody, somebody's personality. Then research to learn about, uh, stands out about them. Finally, you will use what you have learned to create an accurate profile of a person's personality.